Tom here from Orange Systems, and both pass keys and password managers have been a huge win for security. They help eliminate weak or reused passwords, protect against phishing by validating the domain where the credentials are being filled, and overall make it easier for people to do better security. And for the folks who worry about what if my password manager gets hacked, well, that's a valid concern. But the security answer to that question is using multi-factor authentication or MFA for the sites stored in your password manager, and that MFA needs to be stored outside of your password manager. That way, even if someone gets your password vault, they still can't log into those sites that have a second factor. That second factor acts as a compensating control by reducing the risk introduced by having one system with all of your credentials. Now let's talk about pass keys. They're a modern passwordless login method based on public key cryptography. When you create a pass key, your device stores a private key and the website gets a public key. To log in, you prove that you have the private key, usually with some form of attestation, such as a fingerprint, pin, or by touching a hardware key. And there's no password to steal. And that's awesome. But here's where things get complicated. A lot of password managers and platforms are now offering to store your pass keys. While that's convenient because it means your pass keys can sync across devices and platforms, that also means if your password manager gets compromised or any of the platforms that are doing this, you are now storing your pass keys and the MFA in one place, the same container as all of your credentials. And that's a huge problem because doing that eliminated that compensating control. There's no longer a second layer protecting you from a breach. You're back to single point of failure, but with a lot fancier technology. Now let's be clear, syncing pass keys across devices isn't necessarily a bad idea for the average person. It's still more secure than using passwords. But if you're serious about security, you have to recognize this trade-off. You can't claim you have strong MFA and store everything in just one basket. So if you're using pass keys, awesome. Just be intentional of how and where you store them. Convenience is great until it quietly pokes a hole in your security plan. And that's why I made this video to help you understand the risk that comes with putting all those keys in one place. Now I get it. Compromising a password manager isn't easy, but if it ever does happen and your pass keys are stored there too, let's just say it's game over for anything you were seriously trying to protect. That's exactly why I don't store pass keys in my password manager for anything that needs to be truly secure. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, drop a comment or share how you're handling pass keys in your environment down below. You can also join the discussion on my forums or head over to lawrencesystems.com for links to my socials and more ways to connect. All right, and thanks. Stay secure.